What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more No Man's Sky. It's been a while. Uh, we checked out the living the, the living ship update when it came out, and I want to get some upgrades for the bad boy, and I would like to eventually find an actual red and black ship, uh, because mine is, like, red and, like, green. So, yes, hopefully we can maybe get some of those things done in this episode. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. So, first order of business. Uh, well, firstly, I've already gone through about 15 uh, living ships trying to find a red and black one, and I've been very unlucky. So, I am just going to go ahead and try to get some upgrades for these ships, get them packed up, ready to go. See if we can maybe find some S-Class ones. I don't know, because the only things I have right now, I have uh, some B-Class ones, and I don't think I have any like A-Class or S-Class upgrades yet. And I don't know specifically the way to do it, but I have an idea. So we're going to check that out. And uh, yeah, so we're going to we're going to hop in. Now, I want to go to a red system for I think for upgrades. I think red systems would probably be best for upgrades uh, because it seems like red systems are always like, you know, the crazy ones, if you will. So I'm going to start by teleporting to a random location that I found before just to kind of get me away from my my current location I've been pretty much everywhere around my current uh my current system <laughs> so we're not gonna get a whole a whole lot done there now uh, like I said I'm looking for red and we're probably gonna get hit for a living ship if we happen to find a black and red living ship that's gonna be fantastic because this one's not black and red it's like green but I like it I like it I like it better than anything else I've come across so let's take a peek at a map here are we close to any red systems oh I've been here before quite a bit apparently too I need to go to that's a red star right there. How many planets? Ooh, one planet, one singular planet. How much is this one? Ooh, see, this one's good. Let's go here. Oh, fantastic. This place looks nice. All right. So first thing I want to do, um, I actually want to get rid. I'm going to get rid of these microprocessors. They're not worth a whole lot. I'm not looking for money right now. We have money. We have 280, 38 million. We're fine, but I want to make sure I have room for these upgrades because if i find some and i don't have room for them well guess what <laughs> you don't get them you don't uh so we're gonna go ahead and warp now i think we're probably gonna be summoned by the ship beforehand so we might try to do that a couple times and then come back here we'll just see how it goes yep being summoned all right yep sure let's take a look it's gonna be in a different system though just watch it's always in a different system it's never in a red system yeah it's always outside the system now is it a system that i've been to before uh, it doesn't look like it is. Should we check that out? Yeah, let's check it out. We'll check it out. All right, let's see. Show me something that's black and red. That would be amazing. A hammerhead black and red would be pretty cool. What in the heck? It's like halfway in a cliff. Nope, it is like a standard. There's like, I, I feel like there's like these standard colored ones. Like this guy. I've seen this one so many times. I've seen this one so many times. It's it's just if it was if it had the red glow on it, you know, maybe maybe, but it's not. It's just ah uh, darn. Yeah, I've seen this one. I can't even tell you how many times. <laughs> Anybody want a brown one? Nope. Pretty sure this is the one that we went to the first time. And I bet it's going to have the same ship on it, huh? Let's see here if it's even loaded in, which it's not. <laughs> so sometimes there's a bug where the ship actually doesn't even load in whatsoever and i believe that's the case here unless it's behind this rock which i don't think it is no it's not because i think it'd be peeking out right here um yeah all right well that's fantastic all right there you are and it's the same one as before wasn't it see okay i like that this one is dark and it's like like the black color, if it only had the red accents, you know? Let's go into photo mode. Oh, see, now it actually looks green. So I use the photo mode to actually like take a picture and take a, well, I don't take a picture. I take a look at the actual color, but yeah, we're gonna pass on this one too. Sorry, man, but no, not gonna happen. Not to, yep, that's the same one. All right, uh, so we're gonna be done with these for now. We're gonna go get upgrades. So we're gonna offload the egg onto my freighter because I don't want this mission to keep like persisting. And I want to be able to find the other things that we're going to be looking for. So freight, oh, it's zero capacity. What? Why do we have that? Let's delete this. All right, perfect. So now we shouldn't have to worry about that. Do we have inventory space? I don't really need this stuff either. I know it's worth, I know it's worth a lot, but I'm not worried about it. I don't need it. Uh, tritium hyper. Uh, all right, we're good to go. Let's head back to the red system. We're going to do some pulse driving around and hopefully run across a few of the little upgrade deals for our ship. 
Awesome. What a nice looking red system. I like it. All right. Let us begin the pulsing process. All right, we're leaving the red system. I was pulsing around for like 10 minutes and nothing, not a single thing popped up. So maybe you can't do them in red systems. I don't know for sure. So I went to a blue system instead because I, I think blue is like the next like highest tier, whatever. Uh, ooh, look at these freighters. We could probably get a whole bunch of uh, the salvage data modules off of these guys. <laughs> not right now. We got other things to do. It is very red here though. Holy moly. For a blue system, it looks awfully red. Oh my gosh, these guys look like they have a lot of cargo too. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna be pirates right now. We're not gonna be pirates. Oh, anomaly detect. What is this? <gasps> oh, these look like some seriously big nasties. Incoming message, automated frequency. What? Oh, oh, that's one of the uh, that's one of the eye things in the containment for report. Life forms stable. That's one of those uh, the the horrors. Oh, that is so cool looking. I've never seen one of these guys before. This guy is massive, like hugely massive. These things are insane. Okay, we're gonna blow it up. <laughs> That's the only thing to do here. That is the only thing to do in this situation. This thing is cool. I was expecting like the random alien eggs. Was not expecting this. Uh, hazard containment field, blow it up. Can I blow up these things individually? Or is it just like one whole thing? Ooh, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's worth 585,000, what? That's pretty cool. The haunted remains of some abyssal horror. It has lived at least 110 lifetimes and will live many more again. Oh my gosh. That thing was cool looking. All right, let's keep, let's keep going. Uh, looks like we got a ship, a broken ship, and we have a hostile sub scan, easy peasy. I don't think there's anything you can actually do with these. Uh, yeah, I have the Starship AI valves and they're worth like a lot. Apparently I should actually probably sell those things. Oh, those are worth 250 million. Oh my gosh. Those are worth more than what I have in my entire bank. Oh my gosh. Uh, all right. Well, let's destroy these guys. I probably should go sell those. You know, I just realized this ship is helping me. There was a ship. There was a guy helping me here. Weird. I don't think there's anything. Oh, hey, legend. <laughs> destroy 80 starships. I've done, I guess I've done that a few times. All right. So nothing exciting here. I don't think. Unless I'm missing something with these, but I don't think there is. Let me scan. I don't think there's anything that we can do with these guys. I think they're just kind of like a point of interest, you know, kind of look, look at it from a distance thing. All right, let's move on. We still haven't got any upgrades yet. Oh, anomaly detected. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Ironbound relic? Oh, this is cool. Let's blow it up. Platinum? That's not, I don't, well, this is not the stuff I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm looking for alien stuff. So I'm not actually sure what's going on here, but I'm not finding any of those uh, any of those alien deals. So I'm almost wondering if you have to be at a, uh, a standard kind of solar system, because every time you find a living ship, it always takes you back to one of these guys. It doesn't take you to any other colored star system other than these. I assumed that the S class good stuff would be on the red stuff, but there was nothing there. And on on these guys, we haven't found a whole lot of anything. I'm going to keep flying around a little bit longer, though just to make sure because I mean, we have found some stuff so maybe it's just a, a game of chance here anomaly detected what is this thing pirate controlled monitoring station is it gonna say anything oh this thing is weird looking oh it looks cool though let's blow it up goodbye it is for pirate uh-oh pirate defense that might have been a bad idea yeah, we're fine there's only three of them oh okay all right all right three of them three little boys Got you. Easy enough. Oh, wait. Who's helping us? Oh. Oh. These guys are helping us. That's very nice of them. I want to make sure I don't accidentally hit the other ones. I wish I could lock onto this guy. Can I lock onto you? We'll lock onto this guy. Those other guys are helping. All right. That one's done for. All right. Where's this? Uh, where's this last one at? Oh, yeah. These guys are getting destroyed. All right. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Wonderful. Standing increase with the Viking. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Another object of interest. Oh, it's a trade frequency. No, thank you. All right. Well, another broken ship. Mm, all right. Yep. We're going to we're going to try this. We're going to try this in a different system. Oh, my gosh. And immediately we find one. <laughs> 
uh neural assembly node it's a c class all right so um i pulsed to a regular like you know yellow star system and immediately we found one uh let's keep pulsing around let's see if we can find more all right so now now i'm not finding anything now i've been pulsing around for a while <laughs> still haven't come across anything so you know what actually i want to take a look at something i want to go to the space station because i know you cannot upgrade these ships normally like how you upgrade the uh the, your your standard ships now with the upgrade console but i want to go check it out i want to see if there's any kind of options for anything dealing with these in that upgrade console all right let's go check out this upgrade console and see if there's absolutely any options for us it's showing that ship i mean it's all red uh available upgrades class wait where to find uh where to find upgrades upgrade starship purchase stores oh you can just wait hold on a second you could just buy upgrade store what <laughs> i didn't realize you could no slots available oh cannot augment living being no slots available interesting you know it's really weird that it shows that that's really interesting okay so hold on where does it say uh when i say where to find upgrades where to find upgrades uh using the outfitting station to increase the size of starship inventory or improve stats by class blah, 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 blah. technology persons okay so basically it's just telling me that it can't do anything here Really weird. Really weird that says upgrade Starship. And then it gives you the option to purchase storage for 25 million units. But then it's like, nope, can't do it. Interesting. So how do you increase storage? I wonder if there's storage deals. Uh, did I already buy my Exosuit upgrade? Apparently did not. Let me buy that real quick while we're here. And I guess while we're here, let's just check for, uh, let's check for some, some upgrades, shall we? What do you got? Nothing terrible. Well, I guess we might as well buy this scanner module. Jeez, S-Class scanner. I don't think I have S-Class scanner stuff on here anymore. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right, that's class skater. All right, so that guy is not gonna work for us. That's fantastic. So we have, um, we have a weapon upgrade. We have a neural assembly mode, which I believe that this is the takeoff and landing. Uh, yeah, yep, yep, takeoff and landing stuff. So those upgrades, we have uh some shield upgrades, and then we also had I thought I had another one in here. I guess not. I guess I don't have another one in there. But let me unload some stuff real quick, and then we're going to go back out and look for uh, for more more things. Man, it looks like it's black and red. If only it would actually be black and red. You know what I mean? All right, good. We just uh, we stole all that guy's money. <laughs> How much do we have? 486 million. That is fantastic. All right, so I snagged the egg again off of my freighter because I'm not coming across any of these upgrade modules. So I was like, let's just check. Let's see what kind of ships we get here. Since we're here, this is a whole different system. It should be on this system because it's a standard system. So it looks like it is here. All right, let's see what we get. And then I think what we might do is I might just go ahead and apply the upgrades to this ship right now because we can always find more later. And I honestly don't see that the upgrades do like a whole lot of difference uh, as far as like survivability and things like that. Because when we encounter any like pirates or aliens, like we don't have any issue taking them out. The only upgrades that I would like is I would like increased... Um, I would like the increased neural assembly and the pulsing heart because the pulsing heart is essentially your uh, your pulse drive. Neural assembly is your takeoff and landing, uh, and your singularity cortex is actually your warp fuel, which is amazing that you could just use a a standard you know chemical or a standard element to refill that. It's really nice. Like that's I think that's the best part of the um, of the living ships is that you can just refill them. You don't have to make like warp fuel every single time. It's <laughs> it's very nice um oh the red the planet's red and black come on come on give me give me something good and it's not gonna load in oh no it's totally there uh oh you're kind of yeah, you look you look kind of you look kind of basic there guy i mean it's cool looking don't get me wrong but like i don't think this is i don't think this is what i'm looking for here let's let's head out here let's go ahead and change the time of day let's see what your true colors are now ah, you're green Oh, you're like a yellow. I mean, I like it because it's a hammerhead. It looks like it looks cool. I really like the fact that it's a hammerhead. It has all its pieces on it. I really like it. It's just that's not what I'm looking for, man. It's just not what I'm looking. I'm sorry. It's not you. It's me. I'm too picky and more of the same you know i feel like i've seen the same ships over and over and over i haven't seen a single ship that is any other color other than like a yellowy or a brown or like a greenish color and none of them have had any other color of the like the bioluminescence they're all white every single one of them they're all white 
So what are you? Are you a purple or are you like a purple and white? Yeah, so this one's like a purple and white long nose looking deal. It's it, everything is exactly the same. I don't understand. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, we got to we got to we got to reject this being oh, it's so it's I feel terrible. Reject this being I feel terrible every time I have to do that. But oh, I just I just want what I want. But let's throw some upgrades on this bad boy. I want to see what it does if it does anything. If there's any like uh you know specialty stuff i like this little vortex of like landing stuff <laughs> it's kind of cool all right so um now can i move these oh i can move technology move technology okay so i'm gonna want to move them so i can chain them together so let's take a peek here okay um we're gonna want move this guy to down here and then we'll put the Scream suppressor. That is the shields, right? Scream suppressor notes. We'll put that one there. I know it's not evolved yet, but I want to make sure I get them all lined up because I want to make sure that I can put them so they can uh, attach and like, you know, get the, the bonus -y stuff. Oh, wait, we have an organ chamber. I completely forgot about that. Can I put these in here? <laughs> That's so much better. All right. So I think I have where I want to go. Uh, I put them in here and I left spaces because I think we can stack what three upgrades per deal. So we can put three here. We can put three here on these guys if we need to, or we could put like, you know, uh, one, two, and then three. And then we can put three here, three here. You know, we can, we can mix and match as we need to. I think we can move them around. So I'm not super worried about it. Uh, Scream Suppressor node. Let's go ahead and actually, hold on. Let's go ahead and evolve it and throw it right there. Uh, neural assembly node. Let's evolve that guy. And which one is that one for? Oh, that's part of this guy. And then the spewing vent node. All right, so let's go ahead and involve that. And throw that on with the spewing vents. It's right there. Fantastic. So those look good. <gasps> Wait, what? You can straight up evolve these? Evolve for 210 nanites. Evolve? Wh what? You could just upgrade them? Oh my gosh, that's insane. <laughs> that's the best thing ever. <gasps> I did not know you could do that. So I can upgrade all these with my nanite clusters. Oh, that is so nice. Okay, so you really only need to find like them originally that you can upgrade them. So it doesn't even matter what class they are. Oh, that is very nice. Well, that's the one I wanted specifically for that because I'm sick and tired of playing for that one to be upgraded all the time. I don't think we have anything else in here. And I don't believe we have any other ones in here. Oh, no, we do. We have a scream suppressor node. Ha ha ha. Let's put that in here. Um, actually, hold on. Organ chamber. Screen suppressor. Scream suppressor. Node. So I already have one. I might wait because I do, like I said, I do want to find a different one. I want to find an actual black and red one. Um, so I might wait and not install this one. We might just keep that for later. Let's go ahead and move all of our stuff down here. Uh, we'll put items and whatnots in here. Then we'll put uh, upgrades up here. I really wish we could upgrade our storage though. And I'm, I'm almost wondering if we can. I'm wondering if there's like a upgrade or something that will allow us to upgrade our storage. I feel like there probably is. Definitely is. Um, okay, so this increased negative 20% launch cost and automatic recharging enabled. That's wonderful. That is absolutely fantastic. All right, so that guy's upgraded. Uh, we already said no to that one. We are good to go. But um, I think, unfortunately, that's going to end this episode, guys. I was hoping to get some more uh, upgrades and things like that done. But I just, I'm not having the luck today. So I don't know if there's like a certain way that you're supposed to do things. Things like that. I'm also not being able to find a red and black ship that I want to find because, you know, you know what? Actually, now that I upgraded, I'm probably going to find one. That's that's probably how my luck's going to be. I'm going to find the next one and it's going to be exactly what I want. You know, this isn't exactly what I was looking for, but I got to say the black and white is actually pretty cool. <laughs> the black and white is actually kind of cool. Is that like a pink or is it white? I don't know. That's actually kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. I don't know. Hammerhead. I wish I had all of its. I wish I had all its tendrils, though. I'd like the ones on the sides and stuff. That's pretty cool. But no, no, nope, it wasn't. You know, wishful thinking, but it didn't work. But uh, yes, that's gonna end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And we'll probably be back. Um, probably gonna live stream this actually over on twitchtv slash one gaming and probably do a little bit of grinding and see if we can't find the ship that I actually want. So hopefully, maybe next episode, I'll actually have a black and red ship. This thing, it looks like it's black and red. It does. It really, really looks like it's black and red most of the time, but it's not. It's like a greenish turquoise-ish thing. See, there's its true colors right there. I know, right? It's so misleading. It's so misleading. <laughs>
But uh, yes. Alrighty, guys. Hopefully you have a fantastic day. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.